In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can apply a realistic looking fake tattoo using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey what's up guys, Dhruval here back with another video and as you can see this is the final output you're looking at. Now uh, first of all let's look at the stock images. So this is the model image and this is the PNG file of the tattoo that I'm going to use. Now if you want to use any of these files, the download link is in video description. They are from davintart.com so feel free to use them. Now uh, I'm gonna first bring this tattoo image into my model image. So I'm gonna press Ctrl A to select it and then I will press Ctrl C to copy it. Now I'm gonna come back here and then I will press Ctrl V to paste it. When this box comes up, just simply hit OK. Now here's the PNG file on separate layer. Now I'm gonna put it over on his shoulder and as you can see I'm using my move tool to move it around and then I'm gonna press Ctrl T. So it will allow me to make my tattoo bigger and smaller so you can hold your shift key and make it bigger and smaller however you want. So I'm gonna make it uh, something this size and when making it bigger or smaller holding down shift key is important otherwise it will go something like this and doesn't look good. So I'm gonna make it slightly something like this. Now I'm gonna right click and then I'm gonna select WAP or wrap, whatever you wanna call it. So what it will allow me to do is wrap it around on his arm. So it looks more like that it is going around it instead of just a flat image that we pasted over. So that is one good advantage. And then let's uh, wrap it a little bit more here and then I will try do something here and then I will confirm it. Now it's slightly higher than I expected so I can just bring it slightly down not too much uh, something like that here looks nice. Now uh, for this portion what you can do is you can use your puppet wrap tool so you have to go to edit and there you have option of puppet wrap here. So it will take a little bit time. So as you can see now you have this image here. So all you have to do is wherever you see these corners, you can apply a dot. Let me zoom in so you can see. Okay, it goes smaller. <laughs> so you can apply some dots here and there uh, like this. So I'm going to apply a couple of dots here. Uh, and then you can drag it or stretch it however you want. So I'm just gonna drag it a bit here, something like that and then I will drag it here and then drag this one here. You can apply as many points as you want, you don't have to worry about it. So I can drag it however I want. So this way if there is a turn as you can see here in the arm, uh, you can make it even better. So that is one really good advantage. So I can make another point here and then I will drag it here slightly if I want. There's just so much freedom with this tool. It's amazing. So I can apply one more point here and something like this. And then I'm gonna go here and confirm this. So let's look at the after before. See how it looks like. And then let's adjust it slightly here. So that looks nice. Now it is not looking good because there is like tattoo outside his arm. So what you can do is first of all turn off this tattoo layer, come back and select your background layer. And there here you have this quick selection tool and I'm gonna make selection of his arm. Doesn't have to be really like uh, accurate because all we need is just little bit of arm. And then I'm gonna select this one too. Then I will turn on my tattoo layer and select this layer one and here as you can see this little third option I'm just gonna click on that and it will apply a layer mask. So as you can see the mask is there and the rest of the image is gone. Now let's say if you wanna bring something back. So all you have to do is just select your brush tool, uh, select white color and you can just directly start painting and that portion will be back. Okay my opacity is not full. And that portion will be back so it is just easy as that so you always have full freedom so that's one big advantage proportion and masking is done uh, we have to mix it on the skin so it looks natural so to do that i'm gonna double click on my layer one and here we have option and there you have this blend if option uh, and i'm gonna select my gray one and here we have to blend in the white colors but when I blend it, it completely removes it. 
so make to make sure that doesn't happen i'm gonna hold on my alt key and option if we are using mac so i'm gonna hold my alt key and then i'm gonna drag this slider so it will blend it better as you can see uh, wherever there are highlights it will blend itself really nicely so don't make sure that it's not too much otherwise it will look like it's horrible and then let's a uh, little bit more and hit ok so let's look at the difference see how difference it makes like we can see the texture here it's completely fake but now we can see the texture really nice of on the skin and after that let's adjust the color a little bit so to do that i'm gonna control click on this uh, layer the tattoo layer on the thumbnail not the mask the thumbnail select my background layer and then i will press ctrl j so if i turn both of these things off as you can see it made the copy of that arm uh, with the shape of tattoo so let's turn both of this on and then i will put it on top of my this layer and then i will change its blending mode to luminosity and then uh, as you can see it looks black and white so i'm gonna change its opacity to like 20 percent uh, let's go and type it 20 and then if I turn it on and off, you can see the difference it makes. So as you can see, now colors look really nice. And now one really important step, I'm gonna select my tattoo, as you can see here. And then I will go to my filter, blur and Gaussian blur. In the Gaussian blur, I will apply, let's say 1.5. Uh, let's see, no, that's way too much. So I will go with like one pixel. Uh, yeah, that looks nice and then hit okay. So now if we zoom in, uh, it looks like, like it's actually drawn there. So that this little touch ups like this, that make the image really worth it. Now one last and really important step. So to do that, I'm gonna select my background layer and then I will press Ctrl A and then I will press Ctrl C. So it will copy the image and then I will go to file and create a new document. You can name it whatever you want. And then I will go here and paste my image this layer one like the original image then i will go to image adjustment and then i will make it black and white desaturate and then go to image adjustment and then i will go to levels and then i will make it uh, let's say darker from here and brighter from here so we have really nice contrast uh, that looks really nice and hit ok now i'm gonna go to my filter blur and gaussian blur a little bit of blur uh, let's say 5 pixel uh, yeah that looks really nice so blurring is important because the effect we are going to use that will be very sharp so blurring is necessary so now go to file and select save as and here I'm gonna name it uh, let's say that looks nice and save it and okay now I'm gonna go back to my this file where we were working and then first of all let's go to select and deselect the selection to remove it now select your tattoo here uh, this tattoo as you can see then go to filter distort and there you have this option called displace and in the displace i'm gonna use 10 10 uh, stretch to fit and repeat edge pixels and then hit ok and here uh, where it is uh, yeah example tattoo displace so i'm gonna open this thing and as you can see uh, press ctrl z see it wraps it around the arm and then you can adjust it a little bit if you want uh, to make sure that it is on its place so that is looking really nice now so as you can see the final output is looking really nice and convincing uh, the more time you spend the better it will be so i really hope that you learned something and you understood the difference between lighting and applying fake tattoos and if you want to check out more videos like this, you can click on any of these boxes and you can also subscribe to my channel. So every time I upload a new video, you will get the update. Plus it will take you to my channel where I have more than 75 free Photoshop tutorials just waiting for you. So till then, goodbye, take care and have some fun with Photoshop.